Hey guys, it's Deanne and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I finally have a beauty video that I wanted to upload. I repaid my dry damage day and I have lots of tips for you so stay tuned for that. If you are new to my channel, a very big welcome and please 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 subscribe to my channel. I'll leave the subscribe button here if you're on the computer and if you're not just scroll a bit down and see the subscribe button and you can follow me on all my social media. My links will be in the description or you can see them on the screen. Without any further ado, let's get into the video. So I first want to start by saying that there is a disclaimer for this video. It's not one of those bogus videos that you clicked on that's going to give you some life hack that doesn't work. Um, these tips I guarantee will work but the time that it takes for you to see results differs for everyone because not everyone's hair is the same and not everyone's body functions the same way. So I just want to say that you will see results as long as you stick to these tips. I am studying beauty so I would know and I've actually followed these tips myself and I've seen a dramatic difference in my hair as you could see from the thumbnail picture. So for starters, you need to switch out your shampoo and your conditioner. The reason I'm saying this is because you could be using the wrong products on your hair. So when you get a shampoo and conditioner, make sure that your shampoo does not have alcohol or sulfur in it. If you are not sure if your shampoo has alcohol or sulfur in it, if it foams up, uh, when you start washing your hair, then there might be alcohol or sulfur in it. And this is actually stripping your hair of all that oils that your hair really needs. So just watch out for that. What you want to look for is a shampoo with oil or silk extracts. And this will really give back what your hair is lacking. So when you apply your conditioner, make sure that you just get out of the shower for 5 minutes and blow dry your hair. The reason I'm saying this is because 5 minutes of just blow drying your hair on a medium heat setting will actually set your conditioner and it allow it to really give back and treat your hair and this I would recommend for people who don't really have the time to do an oil treatment Stay tuned to the end of my video to find out how I did a DIY Oh, and I want you to remember that when you do a leave-in mask, you need to towel dry your hair after you've shampooed it so you can see better results. With leave-in mask, I'm going to show you the mask that I use, which is the Tresemme Platinum Strength Deep Conditioning Treatment. I've been using this for about two months now, and I can guarantee that I've seen results from this product. The reason... I said that I've been using these products because I actually changed recently and I will talk more about the products that I will be using next because I am on a treatment for my hair at the moment because I have been to the hair salon and I've just changed up I will. So with deep conditioning treatment, I know the bottle says 5 to 10 minutes to leave in your conditioner but I just want to say the longer you leave this in, the better for you. The reason I say 5 to 10 minutes is because these are usually for people who are on the go, do not have time to sit down and treat their hair. The next thing I want to talk about is your water temperature. I should have actually mentioned this first, but when you wash your hair, make sure the water temperature is on a cool to lukewarm setting. If your water is too hot, what it does is it opens your hair follicles and you're actually losing essential oils that your body provides for your hair in order to give it that natural shine. Next thing I want to talk about is combing your hair. If you do wash your hair, make sure you're not using a fine tooth comb, actually combing the product out of your hair and essentially stripping your hair of what it needs. I have curly hair, so I usually get caught in my curls and pull my hair and cause a lot of breakage. So what I use is the detangler. Mine was extremely inexpensive and I recommend this for people who do not like the feel of combs in the and I definitely recommend this product. All the products that I mentioned will be listed in the down bar if I actually got it from like a drugstore. Well, we call it like a pharmacy. I got it from Clicks. So if you're looking for an NSS product, this one's your go. When you towel dry your hair, you need to make sure that you don't towel dry your hair too wildly, if I can say that. You're really just drying out your hair in the end. And also what you're doing is you are causing breakage if you are going to be drying your hair incorrectly and that's not what you want. The dryness of your hair. When you wash your hair, make sure that there's no excess water left in your hair. Because what this is doing is it's actually scorching your hair even more 
than what heat would usually do because you don't still want to damage your hair by blowing it while it's still wet so I, that I would just watch out for the second thing I want to talk about with regards to drying your hair is a heat protectant now I personally use a blow dry lotion but I will leave a recommendation down below if I can find one because I'm looking for things that are inexpensive because I'm a student and I don't want to spend tons of money when I flat iron my hair I actually use the JHD protectant spray I will leave a picture right over there because it's a GHD product, it is a little bit expensive, but if you save up, it really is worth it. Hair oil is extremely important if you really do have dry hair and you are struggling with it. I just want you to know that hair oils will give back shine and really everything that you need. Now, I'm going to mention two hair oils now that I have with me. The first is the Avon Advanced Techniques 360 Nourishment, and I've been using this for a year already. Because it's an Avon product, it is relatively inexpensive to get and I would definitely recommend this product. Now I'm going to talk about another one that my mom uses. Now this is called the Dark and Lovely Amla Oil of Seven Wonders. The reason I'm recommending this product was obviously seeing the dramatic difference in my mom's hair. It's amazing. My mom, her hair is a little bit more damaged because she relaxes her hair so obviously when you also relax your hair it takes a lot out of your hair out of my mom's hair so i massage this into a scalp about twice a week and her hair has gone from like really damaged to this voluminous and bouncy this one is your guy i'm going to talk about the products that i'm switching to because I have gone for treatment on my hair at the hair salon and now I'm changing to, I'm gonna put a picture out there Schwarzkopf BC Bonacure Repair Kit This comes with a shampoo, a conditioner and a deep nourishing treatment which is what they use on my hair and before you like go whoa you spent like how much on that you need to understand that if you're really serious about changing up your hair and you are in desperate desperate need i'm only saying products that i would recommend i'm not saying go out and go buy these really into products like i said i do have a diy treatment at the end of the video for those of you who are just not willing to spend that much money on it but i'm just saying that i've seen excellent results from the use of this product which is why i ordered it and they last so long i probably think that i'd probably go through those in like three months like three months maximum and then only i'd be finished with it the way you love your lifestyle is extremely important because you don't look after your body properly your body is not going to continue to grow and show you great results the first thing i would recommend is changing up your diet as well you don't need to change it but just implement these things into your diet implementing biotin in your diet biotin is a b vitamin that promotes hair growth and overall scalp health if you have a biotin deficiency then you will suffer from brittle hair biotin can be found in things like eggs Peanuts, almonds, wheat bran, low fat cheese and salmon, avocados as well. Avocados have a lot of biotin in it and I mean who doesn't love avocado? Because the lifestyle is sleep. The body's not getting enough sleep, it's not going to be able to grow properly like I said and give you all the benefits that you need. So I'm a student so I know the sleep struggle. Obviously get as much sleep as possible, 8 hours is the recommended time. Okay, so the only thing that you're going to need for is coconut or jojoba oil. I will leave it right over there. What this oil does is it's the same properties with like a Moroccan or an argan oil. Expensive than other oil that you're going to find. For this DIY treatment is just squeeze a few drops into your hand. Massage this into damp air. Leave this on for 5 to 10 minutes but remember what I said, the longer the better. After you've left it in, wash it out and shampoo and condition as normally and and there you go, you have your own DIY oil treatment. If you guys did something new, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching guys. The products will be listed in the down bar. Oh, and my social media links will also be in the down bar. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well if you are new and if you did enjoy this video. So basically it will alert you whenever I post videos. So thank you so much for watching guys. I will see you next week with a brand new video. Bye! Hello,